I've got the two half logs that will finish the round on round 11 that will come up to the top of the plate logs. I had to rip these out to get the right height on them. And if you see, there's a, a notch on the end. I call this a haunched dovetail. I'm not sure if that's the correct term for that, but it's what I call it. It will lock the top side of the plate together to each side. It will uh, keep any outward thrust down to a, a bare minimum. If you remember on the, the last video, I cut a keyway on the bottom side of the plate log, which keeps the bottom side of the, the plate from kicking out. And this notch here will tie the, this half log. It has a notch on both ends. And this will be housed on the top side of the plate log. Now this is what it looks like on the top. It's what you would actually see. And this is one that's turned over. This is the bottom side of it right here. And I'll point out this part right here will be housed in a pocket similar as a, a joist pocket, except it only goes in an inch. And this area right here will help support this log on the end, and I won't be just dependent upon this, this dovetail because it's only two and a half inches thick. And I'll go to the other end of this one. I've got three of these already cut, and I held one back to show you how I laid it out to get all of this. Now this is my layout. This mark right here is the shoulder line and I'm one inch from the shoulder line to this point right here where the dovetail actually begins and it, it splays out and what I did I snapped a center line on this uh, half log from from end to end and I worked away just like I would a notch on a on a wall log but this is coming away from the center line and back here at the the narrowest part of the dovetail, I came back one and three quarters of an inch from the center line to where it begins. And the total length from the shoulder to the end of the dovetail is four and three eighths. Now these numbers that I'm using, they, if you want to adjust them, that's fine. You can, you can lay it out however you want to. It's just the way I did it. I'm not saying that it's the only way or the correct way. I'm one and three quarters from the center line here and from the center line here to the end of the dovetail I, I'm two and three quarters so that gives me an inch of splay from here to here and I've scored these with my knife these lines here because this will all be cut out right here and here and I'll cut this end off and I'm not using a chainsaw for a whole lot of stuff on or a lot of this cut out Actually, we'll use a skill saw to make this cut here and this cut here. And I'll take a hand saw to make this cut here down to the line. And I've laid this out. This is the inside face of the log. And all these lines are on it also. Now, what I did when I trued my log up, I did the same thing that I did on the joist, the second floor joist, and actually even the first floor joist. Um, the top is true. And so I just made sure that the sides were square off the top on the inside and on the outside. And when I cut the pocket or the receiving mortise for this, I will be working from these lines here. And I'm ready to cut this. Now I'm just going to take a, a skill saw to cut this. taking a little handsaw to finish up that part in the middle that uh, the skill saw blade didn't reach. There's one thing I forgot to point out is how I came up with these lines here. I came down two and a half inches to get the bottom side of the dovetail and I came down four inches for this little part of the shoulder that was set in the in the plate log and I scored these lines so this will actually be cut out all of this area here and this area here but I'll make a cut first with my chainsaw along this line and I'll stop at this shoulder right here 
I didn't think to tell you how I determined this, these lines here for the dovetail and the little shoulder. I just put my square on the top and just marked it at two and a half here and here and marked it at four here and here and disconnected the lines with my little steel ruler there. Now I'll take a chainsaw and I'll cut along this line here to this shoulder. This is the control line right here. Controls the inside uh, dimensions of the building. And I'll come to right here on the uh, dovetail and just drop it straight down. So what I'll have to do is connect this point and the point down here that's on the outside. And I'll make these two cuts halfway or a little bit more straight down. And then I'll make this cut here that will come all the way across to the bottom side of the dovetail then I'll make this cut that will stop at the bottom part of uh, this little shoulder that will be housed and set in the, the plate log. so I can see. This is the, the dovetail and this will be the shoulder and I'll clean all of this up on the bottom side where it's flat across there. And I'll clean all this up with the chisel make sure I'm flat from this point to this point over here and from this point of the dovetail over to the other side. You can see I put my little yellow Crayola mark around the edge. And when I get down to that, I'll know that I'm really, really close to my line that I've scored along here. I'm trying to get this pretty flat across the bottom. I'll get it all cleaned up. Then I'll cut the display of the dovetail on there. Okay, I've got this flat across here with using my little straight edge to check it. And here too. Just a slight, slight concave surface here. Just very, very slight. It's, it's uh, maybe a sixty-fourth of an inch, if anything. I did give myself just a little bit of undercut here. Not that it's necessary, but just to make sure that I, I won't be bumping anything with this part of it when I, when I set it in there. It'll go down in there nice and clean. Still have the support here. Now I can turn it up on its side and cut the, the rest of the dovetail. I'm staying away from the line just a little bit. Now I'll take my little handsaw and I'll just cut this right straight across here. I'm leaving just a little bit of that line. This has been scored, but I'm leaving just a little bit of it. And I can finish that with a chisel. I've got this cleaned up here on the dovetail and I just laid my combination square with this on the, the top side and I've given myself just about a 32nd of an inch undercut. In other words, I bevel this down just a little bit because when I set this on the wall, I want this to, to go in easy at these points here. I don't want, to, I don't want them breaking off or 
chipping or anything. So I, I gave this a slight undercut from here to here. So when it, it's on the wall, it'll start down in the pocket uh, without any friction at these two points here. And as it goes down, it'll tighten up. Okay, this baby's ready to go on the wall. All I have to do now is to cut the receiving pocket for this on the plate logs, and these will be ready to set. I've got the pocket laid out here and ready to cut for the uh, haunch dovetail. I did the same thing as far as the layout as I did on the, on the log itself. Uh, came in from the shoulder three inches and used that as my center line and measured away from it down here at this point is one and three quarters and up here two and three quarters and I also measured the width or the thickness of the log itself and this one just happened to be right on six inches and the other three I had to adjust a little bit back from this outside shoulder line so that it fits clean in this area right here. And I came in an inch, just like I did on the layout of the log itself. And I came down two and a half inches, and I came down the four inches. Now this, this mark here is just the center line of this plate log. It doesn't mean anything at this point. I will cut this line here, and this shoulder line here, and this shoulder line here, and I'll cut it back the inch. And I'll cut this out, the two and a half inch depth. Now, I've left myself a little bit more at the end here, just in case the, there's a little bit of a dis discrepancy on the very end of this dovetail. It won't, it won't bottom out and bind here, so I'm cutting this up just a little bit deeper than the length of the, uh, the dovetail. Now, I'll cut these lines here with a skill saw down to the, to the two and a half inch mark, and I'll take my little carving bar and I'll just plunge through here and go back and cut a relief on the bottom side of this. And then it's just chiseling this out. It takes a little while to do this, but uh, I think they look nice. Alrighty, got that little baby cut out, cleaned up. And I'll put anchor seal in all of these pockets. I'm glad I've got these cut out. Now we can set the last of the logs, which will only be a half log, that will go across here and over here on B wall. And this will tie the top plates together. On the top side, we have the keyway on the bottom, and I don't think they'll ever spread.